Well, hello. Hello. We found the perfect house for you. <laughs> well, even I'm a little tall. I have to bend a little. So tell us about this place we're staying at. It's called Rice Barn and Rooms. It is out of Chiang Mai, maybe eight or so miles. I don't know. It's a little ways out of Chiang Mai town. It's, um, and it's pretty amazing. We are in a rice barn converted to a kitchen down below and a bedroom up above and just living our best life. A little bit vertically challenged here. So I'm six foot three. I'm not standing up tall. So I'm guessing this is maybe six foot to the bottom. Very low for me. So maybe six foot to the bottom here. And then beneath that, we've got probably four inches of board. So <laughs> we're down to... It's this much taller than me. Yeah. So it's probably five, eight. This is just the devil's cauldron here. I mean, I'm just cracked my head over there, cracked my head over here. I'm avoiding like one area and then I crack it on a different one. So, but it's kind of nice to have our own space to do some cooking. So that's good. So tonight it's going to be something with shrimp. Uh, Tom Kha soup. Yeah. So spice level low. So we'll see how it goes. Follow along. So for our toppings, we ended up with onion and cilantro. They came in a pack, a two pack, so we couldn't buy the cilantro, which we wanted without getting the onion. So don't know that onions authentic to the dish. Tastes delicious. A little spicy. <laughs> Is it? Yes, it's spicy. It doesn't seem too spicy to me. Better at catching your throat. No. The pepper. I don't think there is any pepper. Mm. It's pretty good. It's nice to cook it ourselves. Yeah, it does taste mm. very good. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to call this one a win. What are we doing? We are going in search of a music festival. Our um, Post, Knock and Alley, Alistair, Al, I'm not sure, said it's a group called Carabao playing tonight. They are from the 80s, a rock band, so just our style. And Al said to turn down the driveway and then turn left. It seems like we're going away from the music, but we're going to try it. We don't know if there's a cost involved. We don't know if there's a cost involved or if we're allowed, but Nock told us that they're Thai, so they won't turn us away. <laughs> Even if it's a private event, if we just walk in, they'll just let us come in. After about a half hour walk, we, we got here to the concert, but it turns out the concert's a private event. Even through a language barrier, they were able to tell us quite succinctly, get out, please. <laughs> please. 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 <laughs> it's for my customers. <laughs> <laughs> so I think now we're headed back to the rice barn to cook ourselves a curry dinner. The oil is over here somewhere. Let's uh, see if we can find it. Just doing a little work. What about you? No work at all. This is the kitchen.
custard apple it was called I don't really know it looks a little soft it looks more like custard than an apple mm. it tastes delicious mm. it has the texture of custard oh hey Simba did you smell some apple all right come here it has the um, texture of custard. Come here. Okay. Come on. Come right on, Simba. Come on. Do you like it? She didn't spit it out. Alright. So it has the texture literally of custard. I don't know that it has apple flavor to me. But it's definitely a sweet fruit flavor. Want to try it? Yes. There we go. I, I don't know that it, it's not bad. It's better than a lot of other things we've eaten. What's for dinner tonight? Hmm. Cup ramen. Cup noodle. Large beer. Um, chicken. Eggs. This is Steve's. Pig. Intestine. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure. And it comes with the salad buffet. Nice. And for dessert is a waffle. What will you eat first? Noodles and one egg. That's it. That's all the rest of you. It's all the rest of me. I did not choose pig intestine. Neither did I. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You chose that pork. We shall see. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. Looks delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Egg is on a stick. The color is different. We might start doing this at home. We like it so much. Mmm, looks delicious. Alright. No, it don't smell. <laughs> oh, it tastes exactly like an egg. It's a hard boiled egg. Where did the yolk go? Very well. It is. This one tastes like the white part? No, it tastes like the whole egg. Mm. That's right. Tastes like an egg. Yeah. I think it might be like belly fat. Kind of like bacon. Kind of. Yeah. Like pork belly? No, thank you. It's not cooked as well as I might like it to be. Mm. I don't know that I need to explore that stick much further. Lots of deliciousness there. Mm-hmm. There's an earthy flavor. Mm-hmm. Oh, luckily, I have noodles. I was reading about the eggs. I was really quite curious. We've now eaten egg number two and egg number three. So we're trying to figure out how they get this nice, how they get an egg with no yolk. And so what we read was that to actually poke a hole in one end of the egg, which we saw, they drain everything out of the egg. They whip the egg with salt, pepper, and chives. Ours don't seem to have chives in it. I'm not saying- Or any, any flavor. Yeah. Well, they taste like egg. Yeah, yeah. They whip them up and then they use a syringe and put them back, syringe it back into the egg. They do like a soft boil. And then after the soft boil, they go into a grill where they get this nice little smoky flavor. So They're good, actually. I'm pleasantly surprised, actually, how much like an egg they taste. I don't know that I would have one again. Seems like a lot of work 
for a boiled egg. I think if it was between this and the boiled egg, I might just take like a regular boiled egg. Me but too. Shut back. Mm. For dessert, we're going to have a coconut waffle. So it seemed like the waffle was pre-cooked. And then when we got there and said we wanted coconut versus... Uh, sweet corn. Sweet corn. Uh, they heated the back up for us. So, here we go. Yeah. Bon appetit. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, tastes like a sweet waffle. Like corn. Mm, it is corn. Mm. Huh. Okay. So. Corn yeah. and coconut. Sweet corn and a waffle. Mm. Makes you draw your own conclusions. What is this string thing? That's, That's coconut. coconut. They like make kind of like a pudding jello kind of thing out of coconut milk. Oh. Mm. I think I would choose the egg over this. Oh, you know what I didn't share with you? My roll of toilet paper. Mm. We were at dinner the other night, open market, and someone next to us at dinner whipped out the roll of toilet paper. The toilet paper roll is actually the napkins. So, some places you find napkins. Uh, most yeah. places I think you find napkins. Not, like well, they're not napkins. Small They're small tissues. squares, but yeah. they're still toilet paper tissue. Yeah. So here, where we're staying this week, uh, it's just a roll of toilet paper in the kitchen so we can wipe our hands with it. Oh. See? It's things you didn't know that you needed to know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go back to my uh, sweet corn dessert here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just my beer. Beer's good too. Small coffee shop. This is where we get our nightly beer. <laughs> oh, they have it stuck for us. Yeah. Hi, Simba. Beer, sometimes eggs, some little fruit and avocado. This is a custard apple. She only likes this when we have food. She prefers chicken. She does prefer chicken. Hello, friend. I can't remember her name, can you? No, that's why I call her friend. Hello, friend. Everywhere you look, it's just like a secret garden. Look at those little Buddhist monks over here, statues. Very spacious, with a big ceiling fan. And AC? Yes, and a nice spacious bathroom. Oh, that is nice. Yeah. And amazing artwork everywhere. Why are you taking your shoes off before you go in? We don't wear shoes in our house at home. Even in our camper, we don't wear shoes. So it's just common courtesy that I wouldn't wear it here either. But I think it's also a little bit a part of the Asian culture that you remove your shoes before going inside. And another guest room, beautiful. They have a lot of these um, stained glass windows. I think they're just gorgeous. Nor can Alistair find all these wooden doors from different building supplies, they're old wooden doors, and then they incorporate them into their newer buildings, but then they replace the regular glass with this beautiful colored glass for a, a nice look. Yeah, private bathroom as well. Yes. superior room. This is where our friends Jen and Noah stayed for a few days. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. It's really big. Nice. And look at the artwork. And look over here. I mean, it's just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Flat screen TV with mm -hmm. Netflix. Tea kettle. Recycled water bottles. So there's a person here in the village who will reuse these same water bottles with purified water inside them. So inside the superior room, it's a beautiful bath and even a tub. So, yeah. 
so nice. just gorgeous here. I think I'm going to come back every year <laughs> and stay you. here. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect for those of us from the Pacific Northwest. We are used to cold water. This pool has cold water, but it's nice and deep and very refreshing when it's so hot out. Honestly, um, there was the Dutch family here when we first got here, and they used it every day. And we've only gone in it once in a week, and I haven't seen anyone else in it. So it doesn't get a lot of use. We stuck our feet in it. Yeah, we did stick on our feet in day. it on a different day. So twice. Mm -hmm. So just come around. A beautiful sitting place. Now what's this? This is the rice barn. So we stayed here for a few days. Come on upstairs. I can't remember where the lights are. So this is a rice barn. In olden days, um, families would have actually literally stored rice here in this area and then it would have a safe place to overwinter without getting rains or bugs or, or animals. So Nock and Alistair built out that wall a little, took away a little bit of the balcony to put in a couple of bunk beds which is a great touch for families. So we stayed here for a few days and, and loved it. It's got its own private deck. You know, this will be the second time I've been on the deck. One thing I'm really trying to get accustomed to here is all the teak that is in so much of the woodwork. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, where I'm accustomed to cheaper woods. So it's crazy here to see expensive woods. Alistair was saying it's, it's a protected species now of wood, so you can't harvest any. I think it sounds like you can get it from other buildings. Like, yeah, if you look right here, this is recycled. It was used previously for something else. So they're recycling the teak that they already have and putting it to good use. Like if you look here, you can see here, you know, this is the second or third life that this beam has had. And certainly as a woodworker, I, I really appreciate reusing wood and I, I love the character I that it too. gives to it. So this is the downstairs of the rice barn. So for me, uh, as a taller person, uh, I'm not... I really like the idea of an outdoor space like this. I'm not in love with this outdoor space. It's too short for you. Too short. Cracked my head multiple times. In the bathroom, which I feel pretty good. I love it. So we spent quite a few nights cooking our dinner and then eating our dinner down here. Really comfortable spot. The mornings we enjoyed hanging out right in here and drinking our coffee and doing whatever. Next is a family rice barn. We're going to check it out and see if we might want to stay here in the future. So we haven't seen this one before. It has a large kitchen. Oh, it's taller. Oh yeah, it is taller. It's quite a bit taller. And a little... A little bar. Right? Bar right there. And then, of course, a table, a cooking space, fridge, and another little sitting area. Then I'm not sure. Do you think someone's here? I think someone's staying in it right now. Really? Maybe. So we probably shouldn't go up. I don't think we've seen anyone. I think it says do not disturb and there's something hanging up there. Where? Right there. Oh, don't walk through. It's a big spider web. Can you see that spider? I almost walked into it. 
fun little seating area. And then we come through another secret garden. To some fish ponds. Well, right now he's got the water turned off. Yeah. It's got a nice little fountain that comes out. It's quite nice gurgling. There's some fish. Then an outdoor kitchen again. And you'll go on up there. Two more bedrooms down here, guest rooms. This one is ready for guests. So I'll just show you quickly. We go up this big huge staircase. To the studio. Where we're staying now. And it's a mess because of all our stuff, isn't it? Come on in. Whew. Yeah, it's a mess. You can cook biscuits in here. So, it usually looks cute with all those pillows. And... This is the middle of our work day. So... So, we, yeah. don't judge it by our messiness. Beautiful big bed and a smaller twin bed. We're just using it for um, suitcase. And look at this door. Isn't this like the cutest thing you have ever seen in your entire life? Those are bottle caps made into small faces. And then a super nice bathroom. With the shower and a cute guy in the doorway. Mm -hmm. Alistair had warned me that I might not be able to stand up to pee here. Yeah, I don't think ahead. Alistair really recognizes how many years, he would have no way of knowing, how many years I spent flying on very small planes. So <laughs> it's actually possible. It's not comfortable. <laughs> But the plane isn't moving or bouncing itself. <laughs> Actually, it hasn't been bad. Yeah. And again, there's the um, glass windows that are so pretty at night. It's just beautiful with the light shining through. So here's our quick tour of Rice Barn and Rooms. So we're not getting paid commission. Uh, just a fun place we stayed. We planned to stay for a couple days and we've stayed for a week. And... I would give like the area for walkability. Uh, it's very walkable when you get a taxi. <laughs> Grab taxi. <laughs> right across the a road, there's a little coffee shop we've been to almost every day. They and don't cook, but they order food for us from another little shop. Yeah. And someone goes on a scooter to pick it up and bring back. Yeah, so I've had a few meals there. And I mean, even though they're bringing the meal back by scooter, it's still hot when I get it. Yeah. And it tastes great. So. There is food accessible. I think they're open to like five. So this is definitely the kind of place you should either bring your food to cook, which is partially what we did, plan to use Grab to have someone bring you food, or you can go into the Cad Farang market, foreigner market, and you can buy stuff like hot food and bring it back. And we've done that as well. So it's just not the place to go like we did maybe on the first night where we thought we could walk to something close. There's several places that are close, but they were closed. Yeah, they closed at like five. So bring your instant noodles or whatever for night one if you're gonna get here late and you'll be fine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she got me with duck shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> She's trapped me. Yes. <laughs> See you later.